everyone. Thanks for visiting my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Carol, the Thrifty Chic Housewife, and I'm so glad that you stopped by. I hope that you will consider subscribing and feel free to like and share my videos and follow me on social media. I will leave all the links in the description box below. So today we're going to be having a little bit of fun with the salsa verde that we made in our last video. Uh, many of you have expressed an interest in me sharing more recipes and ways to use the things that we have on our home can pantry shelves. So I've committed to try to do a better job of that for you to give you some new ideas. So today we're going to be using our delicious salsa verde and we're going to make a party dip. Now we have football season and all the wonderful things that go along with fall. So I thought this would be a really fun way to use it and then you'll have it for all of your fall parties. Um, if this is going to be really simple to do you guys, uh, we're just takes a few ingredients. We are going to use some shredded chicken. Now I poached my chicken earlier today, but you can certainly use a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. You could let, use leftover grilled chicken. Um, this would be a great place to use leftover chicken. So um, that, however you want to do that is fine. You're going to need about a cup and a half of it. Um, and then the other thing you're going to need is a brick of cream cheese. We want your, you want your brick of cream cheese to be at room temperature so that we can easily mix it in, mix everything together. Then we're going to be using about a half a cup of sour cream. We're going to use a cup and a half of our star, the salsa verde that we made last time. And I'm also going to include about four ounces of a Velveeta queso blanco cheese. I know people have really strong opinions one way or the other about Velveeta, but I like it for its creamy texture and we want a really creamy dip. So I'm going to be including that in my dip. And then on top, I'm going to use some shredded Monterey Jack cheese to give a little bit of pretty color on top uh, with the flecks of the peppers that are in there. But you could certainly use any cheese that you wish, whatever you like you can use. Um, but I've used about eight ounces total four ounces of the queso blanco and then four ounces of the pepper jack um, but that's entirely up to you so I'm gonna bring you in close and we're gonna get started um, I do did should say that I do have my oven preheated to 425 degrees we don't really have to um, cook this in the oven I like to use a high temperature because I like for my cheese to not only be ooey and gooey but I like a nice I like it to get nice and brown on top. I am using a high temperature. If you do not want the brown golden crust on your cheese, feel free to reduce your heat to 350, 375. But I'm using 425 so I can get that brown crust. So bring you in and let's get started. Okay, so I have my one brick of cream cheese. To that, I'm gonna add some of this Penzi's Arizona Dreaming uh, Spice Blend. This is, like I said, from Penzi's, my sweet niece stopped there the other day and decided to bring me some seasoning. So I'm gonna give this a try. You can use taco seasoning, seasoning. you can use um, any type of seasoning that is Southwest and flavor would be fine. Or you can leave it out altogether, it's up to you. You could also use a combination of cumin, paprika, um, my favorite Mexican oregano, anything like that would be fine. But we're gonna season it up just a little bit. And then to that, we're going to add about a half a cup of sour cream. And we're gonna go ahead and stir that together. And this is why it's important for your cream cheese to be at room temperature. And then to that, we are going to add the star of our show, our delicious salsa verde. And like I said, we're gonna need a cup and a half of that. Smells so good. And then we're going to add about a half a cup, a cup, of, I'm sorry, a cup and a half of our shredded chicken. And then the four ounces of our Velveeta, and I've just diced it up. It's a very creamy cheese, so it's kind of hard to even dice it. I tried shredding it and that didn't work. It's too soft. Um, but So just cube it the best that you can. And we're just going to mix this all together. Easy peasy, right? This filling you could use to make enchiladas. You could put it in burritos. You could make flautas with it. Um, you could even top nachos with it. Lots of great uses for it. 
pretty basic, but it's really fun to have as a dip. Okay, once you have that all incorporated, you're gonna take a nice uh, nine inch pie plate, make sure you spray it really well with cooking spray. I'm using avocado, appropriate for Southwest or Tex-Mex cooking. And we're gonna go ahead and put all of that into our pie plate. Just kind of spread it out. And then we're gonna take our shredded Monterey Jack cheese and top it. And then we're good to go. I'm gonna pop it in my 425 degree preheated oven until the cheese is nice and ooey gooey. Everything is warmed through and it's nice and bubbly. Oh yum, look at that. Just came out, took about 15 minutes. So now let's add some, a little bit of garnish on top. You just wanna make it um, a little more tasty with some freshness. I love fresh cilantro. I'm gonna drop, drizzle some of that on top. And then we're gonna also add some fresh tomatoes. That is perfection. Okay guys, we are all done. How delicious does that look? Just a few minutes to throw things together, put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on what your um, oven temperature is set on and you are good to go. So simple. And I did wanna add that if you didn't make your own salsa verde, it's not a big deal. You can always use store-bought, but I highly encourage you to make your own. It's so much better. So I think we should give it a try. What do you think? Oh my goodness, you guys, that is so good. It's so creamy and you have the freshness from the cilantro and the tomatoes on top. And then the, of course the star of our show, which was the salsa verde is just perfect in there with the chicken and it makes it a nice hearty party dip. So I hope you'll give it a try. There are lots of other great uses for this, you guys. Um, I mentioned earlier, you can stuff it in burritos, you can stuff it in tacos, you can make nachos with it. I also thought while I was making this that you could use it on pizza. Just spread the filling out on top of a pizza crust and then top it with your cheese, pop it in the oven until the cheese is nice and gooey and that would be a delicious uh, way to eat it as well. So. Lots of great ways to use it. I hope that you will give it a try and I hope you will try making your own salsa verde. It's not hard and so much better than anything you get at the grocery store, of course. So anyway, um, please like, subscribe and share and uh, leave me a comment if you have any comments or questions about my recipe and I will see you next time. Have a great day.